Thank you. All right, so we're gonna go meet up with Andy and find out what this ticket's all about. We're here at the Amazing Fun Center, and what I'm expecting is some amazing fun. Let's go. So I'm in Corm, Montana, and with me is Andy, and he and his wife are the owner of the Amazing Fun Center. Now, back in the day, I knew this place as The Maze, but now I'm understanding why people are calling it The Amazing Fun Center. Tell us what you have going on here. Well, it, when we first came about 35 years ago, we were just The Maze, but now we have more than just The Maze. We have the bumper boats, mm -hmm. we have the go-karts, we have the mini golf, we have the bank shot basketball to go along with The Maze. The maze certainly is our signature feature, but now we have these four other activities to go along with the maze. This is a family-friendly fun center. Um, takes about two and a half to three hours to do all the activities, mm -hmm. and it's still relatively inexpensive to do our activities. It's great for kids from uh, age three all the way on up to, you know, old people even have oh, fun out here. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Your side. about to get on these bumper boats. So which one's the best one? I would recommend the yellow and blue one down at the end. Yellow and blue one, is yeah. that the fastest? It's one of our best boats. Alright, Jim Carter. Ah! I'm getting straight. You're getting it. I'm coming after you all. Oh, you don't know who oh. you are. Go. Go. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> awesome. Here we go. We never end. Guaranteed to be so no wild white mercy play. definitely come out wet with the bumper boats. for the past three years. We keep coming here because it's just so fun for a date, just to kind of relax and hang out. It's just a great couple of hours to waste away with friends. I love coming for the maze. It's so unique. It's just so huge, and I've never seen anything like it, especially with the four towers. It was made in the 80s, so it has such a wonderful, well, crafted vibe about it. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's vintage. So fun fact is that this is the largest two-level maze in North America, which is pretty sweet. To complete our maze, you would have to walk about two miles, 387 steps to complete okay. our maze. And that's if you do it in correct order. Odds are you're going to get lost, you're going to mm -hmm. backtrack. So it's probably going to be about a three-mile walk, probably about 500 <laughs> steps. And on a day like today where it's 90 plus degrees, you're going to yeah. pro probably want to bring a couple water bottles with yeah. you because you could get lost in here. As an attendant in the maze, I like to give hints and uh, help people get to the certain towers or help people get out. And just, Good. I love watching people get lost. There's a loop that they can just go in a circle over and over. I love it when they get in that loop. I just laugh and laugh and laugh. You might be seeing me in that <laughs> loop. I might be saying, hey, I need some help. All right, it's a hot one. Do I go this way or this way? Which way do you guys think? This way? I'm going for it. Ooh, feeling pretty good. I'm at a dead end and I see the clue and it says this is a dead end. I'm gonna try the other way. Ooh, looks like I'm doing good. I think I see stairs. Staircases are always good because they're leading to another bridge that takes you to a different section of the maze. If you do it right, it'll take you about a mile and a half. If you do it wrong, you could be walking around for close to three miles. By the way, we are here and it's the hottest day in Montana right now. And I have a feeling, I have a feeling we're going the wrong way. Let's try it this way. Come on. 
Should we go over there or over there? The goal is, is to get four different stamps. I think we're about to get our first one. Okay. First one down. Three more to go. I'd say it's a nice drive-by stop for most families and tourists just coming to the area. Come on up. It's, it's inexpensive. It's fun. It's right on the way to Glacier Park. It's a great way for kids and adults to spend an afternoon. Well, here it is, folks. My final stamp, done, completed. Folks, if you have not checked out this maze or the amazing fun center, I would encourage you to do so. Up here in Coram, Montana, it's right before Glacier National Park. So if you're headed to Glacier National Park, plan a couple hours beforehand to check it on out. Until next time, I'm Julie, stay awesome. Coming for me. They're coming for me. Y'all better look out. I'm coming after you all.